Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to today's video. Yes, it's the 1st of December and it's time for the birthday make along. I am a little late. I've had a really busy day. I've just had a shower after work, so I'm a little rough and ready, but what you see is what you get. So let's get started on December's birthday make along. First of all, we'll review November. So November, the first stone was citrine and the spiritual meaning was fidelity and faithfulness. Fidelity in a relationship is really important if you want it to work. And faithfulness, well, I treasure my friends who are faithful and steadfast and stand by me no matter what of an idiot I am being. So that's what it means to me. So there were lots of great pictures posted of citrine colourways and colour choices and I really enjoyed it. Most popular colour range was orange of course which always puts a smile on my face because it's my favourite colour. Having said that it was really difficult to find an orange yarn locally that represented citrine but I did manage to find one that will go in our prize pack. So I found Karen Simply Soft in an orange variegated colour. It's called Gold Ombre. Now a lot of people have said in past comments they really like 4 weight or 10 ply yarns and this is a 4 weight and I thought this is a great addition to our prize pack. I think this is old stock she had um, but it was the right colour so I didn't care. I bought this for our prize pack for November. Karen Simply Soft in orange ombre. So we move into December, the last month of our make along. Can you believe it? We've been doing this for a year. It doesn't seem like that. Um, December was always going to be difficult when I looked ahead because around the world, different places recognize different birthstones and they're all equally as popular. So December in Australia the most popular is blue topaz or blue zircon. There's also the new gem tanzanite recognized for December and then there's the old gemstone turquoise recognized for December. So I'll give you a bit of background, not a lot, on the three gemstones. So Blue topaz. Since the Middle Ages, the blue zircon or topaz is believed to aid in spiritual growth and promote wisdom. Tanzanite. A relatively new gemstone, tanzanite does not have any mythical powers associated with it. But what it lacks in history, it makes up for in beauty. The colour is amazing in the facets of a tanzanite. It is deep blue to purple tones. It is beautiful. And then we come to the old gemstone turquoise. Now, turquoise attracts money, success and love. And if worn, its healing powers relax the mind and ease mental tension. What colours are we going to pick? For December. Well I'm going to recognize blue topaz which means prosperity as for the month of December the spiritual meaning but we can pick colors from the three gemstones so at the end of this video I am going to post a picture of blue topaz tanzanite and turquoise I don't have all these colors if any in my yarn stash so check out the photos and they will be your three colour choices. Blue topaz, tanzanite, which is a deep blue purple colour, and turquoise, which is pretty self-explanatory. Actually, in the turquoise, in my last video, I mentioned that at my charity market, I have a table for my little friend Emma, and we sell things that are donated to her that don't really go into a raffle, and she was given a bit of cosmetic jewellery. And one of them is a set of turquoise earrings and necklace. That is turquoise. Um, it's white metal. It's not silver. But we hang these up on a jewellery stand and we sell them. And the money, all the money gets donated to Emma's Quest. But yeah, that's turquoise if you're curious. That's the only thing I could find in these three colour ranges. 
um, which makes it difficult for my blanket because I did orange. I've got to go through my stash more because I need two colours for December and then I'll put a border around it. So don't forget to post your pictures for December with the hashtag birthstonemalau or email me your pictures as some people are doing and give me permission to share them on the Facebook group page. I'd love to see December. So when it comes to the prize pack draw and finishing off the birthstone make along. Now, if you've been doing a year long project like me, I'd love to see it finished, like all the squares put together or border. And if you do that um, by the time of the draw, you could email me a picture and give me permission to put it in a photo montage for our fellow subscribers on YouTube. I'd love to see the finished projects. Now, the prize draw was to be the 1st of January, but a few people have emailed me. They haven't been well, and they're a little behind, and they've asked for a bit of an extension. So what I've decided is I will open it up till the 4th of January. That, that helps with people trying to get through Christmas and New Year as well. So it will officially close on the 4th of January, 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Australia. Make sure all your photos finished objects are sent to me by then because sometime on the 5th of January I will do a prize draw for one lucky participant in the birthstone make along. I'll show you what's going in there as the yarn choice for December. I'll show you the prize pack of the yarns and yes one lucky person will be in that draw. Will win it who's in that draw. <laughs> so guys the birthstone make along has been absolutely fun. I've loved seeing the pictures. I've loved the feedback. I like the, um, I don't know, what you, constructive feedback you get about doing the make along. So, yes, I have said I am doing a year long make along next year, 2022. So, here's a few highlights without telling you what it's about. Um, there will be more prizes. There'll be a prize draw every month with a mystery prize pack at the end of the year. And yes, I'm hoping it'll be fun. It is um, a stash busting um, make along. For me, this is Spotlight Marvel 8 ply and I have an absolute heap of it. This is my old Lime Brand Santa sack from um, a few years ago and this is full of new balls of Lion Brand Marvel, um, Spotlight Marvel, all the different colours. The reason I like this for the make along is because there are lots of colours in this and for the 2022 make along you're going to need a great colour choice. So whatever yarn you pick, even if you decide to do a scrap project Make sure you've got lots of colours because you're going to need them. What else can I tell you? That's basically it for now. Um, around the 1st of January, I may do it before the end of December, I don't know. I'll announce the make long, the hashtag and the full details. But there will be a prize a month and a mystery prize at the end of the year, a bigger one. Uh, that was from feedback from people who did... Um, the make along this year. I hope you join me next year and I hope we get more people interested. It will be a little different and um, hopefully we'll have fun discovering things together. Guys, thank you so much. I've really enjoyed it. I can't wait to January to see all the finished objects and who wins the prize pack. Until next time, remember life's an adventure and thank you for having your Yanni make along adventure with me it's really appreciated stay well stay safe until next time bye for now